Yo, this is Lee here. I'm here to talk about uh, the Dark Moon Blades and how crappy they are and how they should be improved. So I'm going to start off saying like this. Um, you know, you have the entire blue organization. You have the Way of the Blue and their job or well, they're not, they don't necessarily have a job, but what they want is to not be invaded. Now, people think that switching to the sign is a bad thing. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing because there's some people, you know, who want to do jolly cooperation. You know, they want to be sun bros or, or something like that, and they get invaded. They don't want to be invaded because they haven't beat the boss yet, but they still do. So they swap to the way of blue so that, you know, they get some extra protection. Plus, the blue sentinels serve their purpose by being summoned. So if everybody was wearing, like, you know, a way of blue signed and that increases the likelihood even though I rarely even get summoned as a blue but when I invade there's like swarms of blue so I don't I don't understand that now there's the blue sentinels who is the popo the popo's job you know to walk in protect the way of blue from being killed when they kill the invader they get their little one ear or possibly two ears on a rare occasion and all right that makes sense that that serves the purpose very good then we have the Silly Dark Moon Blades, who do the exact same thing that the Blue Sentinels do. Which I think is uh, ludicrous, it's really stupid and lazy. I believe the solution for the Dark Moon Blades is simple. All they have to do is make it so that, um, that it's similar to the way that the Hunters of Hunters Oath worked in Bloodborne. That when you write your white soapstone sign down, if you're summoned to the world of a sinner, you become a spirit of vengeance as opposed to a friendly phantom. Instead of making it a 5% chance like it was in Bloodborne, which is why it rarely ever occurred, make it 100%. Everybody and their mother has sinned in this game, except maybe my brother. There's, there's a few people out there, like my brother never sins. He's always making like a paladin build and... And he ensures that he doesn't sin at all. And when he does, he requests an absolution. But I have never seen him request an absolution. But anyway, yeah. Make it so that they work just like the Hunters of Hunters. So that when someone summons um, a Dark Moon, they get attacked. This would be the ultimate solution to constantly summoning signs. Because the issue that people complain about the most as an invader is that the host summons an army of goon of goonies and these goonies will keep coming non-stop with no relent until they eventually gank you now what if the host that you're fighting is a filthy center and he's touching signs at random they're white so what happens is that instead of becoming a friendly they are now dark moons the Dark Moon's job is to kill the host center. So you can jump them. The table's turned on them. The reds and the blues can still hurt each other, but they're less likely to because they want to complete their objective, which is eliminate the host. Everybody wins. Now, the Sentinels could kill a red because they're an invader and possibly get an ear if they're a center. So they could take that chance, but they can guarantee a win if they jump the, the host. I believe that this is the ultimate solution to the covenant because that the way that the organization works is that you have the people who want to be protected, you have the protectors that go on the front lines, and then you have the people who actually eliminate the sinners. They work in the shadows. They sneak and skulk around. I know people will say things like, um, well, if they know that the sign is white, then they just won't pick white signs anymore. But at the same time, it doesn't matter if the gankers don't pick white signs anymore. A sinner will eventually pick up your sign. Either they request the absolution or they get a, they get killed. It's as simple as that. They, they won't necessarily know whether or not that you're um, a dark moon blade. Because it'll still appear white. Like that's the catch. You don't have to get summoned into a world of gankers. You can still get summoned into anybody's world. Just for as long as they sin, you can still attack them. And the good thing about that is it adds that element of, of uncertainty and fear of just picking up random summons once you've sinned. Because 
You're supposed to fear the Dark Moon Blades. You're supposed to have this paranoia that they're out to get you because you went against the gods or you did something terrible. And that element is not in the game the way that it was in Dark Souls 1. Dark Souls 1 was like, when I got invaded, it was most likely a Dark Moon. Because I would kill lots of people. But now it's like, you don't even have to be a Dark Moon. You just become a Sentinel. You just become a Dark Moon once you've collected the ears as a Sentinel to reap the rewards. And I don't think that's that's right. The, the, the Dark Moon shouldn't exist. So if they improve upon this, I believe that people will be more willing to become a Dark Moon. It'll make PvP or the online interactions more interesting because it adds more of a random element. Because the Mad Phantoms are that wild card. Because some people do summon Mad Phantoms when they're desperate. But now they have to worry about summoning Dark Moons when they're desperate. Because you just can't click any random sign. It won't tell you that they're a Dark Moon until after they've come into your world. So it'll say like, enter the world of Center uh, Blackleaf 5G. Do Concord. So it's it would work perfectly. I believe that's the ultimate solution to how the Dark Moon Blade should work. I doubt that they'll actually make this change, even though that change would pretty much alter the way that online interaction would work. It will be very interesting to see people, you know, who stream and, and do things get summoned into a world only for it to have like two phantoms and then you come in as a dark moon and you eliminate them. I could see the problems being that if you write your sign near a boss room, they would run into the boss room and things like that. But it's a step forward into the covenant. These covenants should not do the exact same thing because then the, the later covenant serves no real purpose. Another thing is they need to increase the likelihood of being summoned as a blue sentinel. Like I had that blue sentinel summon sign on before I got into Pontiff's room. I ran around through the entire uh, central airfield and nothing happened. I swapped to the way of blue to see if I would get a summon because it was very likely that I would get jumped by three people. I didn't get a single summon. On the contrary, if I invade somebody this moment, like two blues randomly show up. I've gotten attacked by even three of them before. So I'm not sure if the covenants don't work in and themselves or what, because this is an issue that really, really needs to be addressed. I hope that they understand that. So. I want to hear your guys' opinions on my opinion. I want to hear your opinion so we can, you know, discuss this. This is Blackleaf 5G discussing the Dark Moon Blade. So I will catch you guys later. Peace.